Welcome to Deadly Dames and this week's pickup video. So this week's pickup video is actually smaller than previous videos and the reason for it is because I made, uh, for me, it might not be the same for everyone out there, but for me I made a life changing decision. Basically I was getting really annoyed because I love the restoration work that like Arrow and 88 and even like the HMV Premium Collection, the new Powerhouse films, Shameless, all these companies are doing. But I'm finding that I'm finding it more and more difficult to actually display and, and have these movies in a way that I can actually enjoy them um, because of the amount of stuff I've got, basically. That's the long and short of it. So I made the drastic decision to do a clear out and literally go through my whole movie collection, my whole like graphic novel collection, CD collection. I'm, I'm not touched on records. I might go there. <laughs> Blu-rays. And, and I literally just made... The really, really difficult decisions. Clearly the same for games of um, how long has it been since I've watched this film or how long has it been since I've read this. And, and kind of just thought to myself, I'd rather have one movie that I paid £20 for because I love the steelbook or I, I just love the film, I love what they've done with that film and all the special editions, etc. than buy 10 movies that I'm not entirely sure I'm actually going to like and then I sit them on a shelf and not really watch them. So... Right now, my living room is upside down. <coughs> Excuse me. As you can see from the sheer amount of boxes piled everywhere. But, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so I'm kind of just selling everything off. And it's amazing the amount of money that I'm getting, actually. But I'm definitely not getting rid of everything. I'm just selling off the stuff I feel like, well, why have I got four copies of that? Or I want to keep the best version of, of the movie that I actually that I have, I shouldn't have five copies of Maniac Cop, for example, because that's how many I had. I mean, how many? I can't watch five copies of Maniac, Maniac Cop at the same time. So, um, yeah, just starting to... You'll see this, You'll see differences in the collection. I'll show you once everything's done. But anyway, let's get into this pickup video because you'll be bored looking at this tartan blanket. So the first couple of things that I got were from 88 Films. So this is a company I most definitely will still be getting things from. So I picked up... <coughs> Dead Heat. It's in a plastic sleeve, so it's just why it's a wee bit reflective. This is a movie which I was so excited when um, 88 Films announced they were going to release it because I seen the poster for this when I was younger in a, in a video shop and I was too young to get it. And I've always, always wanted to see it. So as soon as I actually managed to get in and relax and I've done a lot of the stuff that I'm planning to do today, I want to watch this movie. I also got it. From 88 Films. A muck. Uh, Italian movie I've never seen. So I'll just move you up here so you can actually see. Italian movie I've actually never seen. It looks interesting. I definitely went, uh, what's this all about? And I turned it over to this. So I didn't expect that to be on the back cover. But uh, you know what Italian movies are like. So looking forward to this one as well. And then from Arrow Video I got... Wally Dynamite. It just looked funny. It looked hilarious. Uh, black exploitation at its best. So, haven't watched it yet. Really looking forward to it. And hopefully the sorry, I'm fighting a cold again. Hopefully, me saying I haven't watched it yet is going to be a thing of the past with me doing this clear out because I do not want a to be watched pile. It's fine to maybe have two or three movies that I've picked up and just not had a chance to put on yet. But the to be watched pile that I have got is ridiculous. So I don't want that again. I want. Space to have the beautiful box sets that I have displayed, not squashed behind other things. So that's that's the reasoning behind it. Now I did pick up a couple of um, just DVDs. The reason why I got them was because one, I had a voucher for Computer Exchange, and two, um, these are movies that I think at some stage, not all of them, but I think at some stage, I may wish to upgrade them. But as I said, I've been stung before where I've bought... <clears throat> Full price, £15, £12, whatever, Blu-ray in the movie was crap, so sometimes if I've got a voucher I'll just test the film before I actually go and pay more. So the first one is, this is an older film, um, but I've never seen it and I've always kind of wanted to give it a go because I've heard it's really cheesy. And that is uh, Breeders. So looking forward to giving this one a go. And then again, I told you I've been really into sort of, um, like western horror or western thriller movies and I got the Blood River so if you've seen this one and you, you like it obviously just let me know I haven't watched it yet 
this was not the movie that I thought it was when I bought it, but I'll watch it, I'll give it a go. So I actually thought this, which was Highway to Hell, was um, an old 90s film that starred Chad Lowe and uh, Kirsty Swanson about a couple that the car breaks down on a motorway and then this police officer turns up and he's got like writing all over his face and he's burned and he takes her to hell and she has to go to hell, he has to go to hell to save her. Um, I had that in VHS and I do really want to watch it again so I thought this was it but I recently noticed that online you can actually get a, I think it's a Spanish edition of Highway to Hell so I'll pick that up instead. It was just a bit more expensive so I thought I would try this one that was advertised for like two one pound I think um, first but I'll see what it's like. Okay this is a, an international movie which I've been really looking forward to seeing but I just haven't picked it up yet and that's um Big Bad Wills. I've heard really good things about it, so I'm looking forward to watching this one. <clears throat> also, I've heard quite a bit about this movie. Um, I heard that the UK release actually is better than the international release because this is the one the director intended to release, and that is um the f the thro the flock. That's a hard word to say. Um, which is more of a thriller than anything else. But yep, looking forward to watching it as well. Um, one that I almost bought the Blu-ray for and then I kind of stopped myself because I thought what if I buy this and it is rubbish and when I seen it was down so cheap on Computer Exchange's website I thought now nah, I'll give it a go now and it's a DVD of Intruders. I quite like how it's got the lenticular cover in this but it's weird because they don't have this on the, the Blu-ray. And then another DVD, a new one that I've heard good things about so hopefully it pays off taking a chance on it and that is... Um, Bastard. We didn't get a blurry release of this over here, so if it's good, I'll just keep the DVD. And a couple of sort of a throwback kind of older one, which I've never seen, and I just thought, ah, oh, well, I'll give it a go. And that is it. Still got the sticker on it. Body count. I no doubt this will get like a slasher classics release or something at some stage, but I might as well give it a go. See what I think first. And then this is a, I think it's an international one again. I might be wrong, but. Oh, it's Hebrew. Oh, didn't expect that. Um, rabies, which again I've heard good things about, so I thought we'll get it and give it a go. I picked up one soundtrack only because these these movie soundtracks, they sell for a ridiculous price now online. And i seen this one really cheap when I was looking through things and I thought I'll just pick it up. I know it's on CD, but... Usually I end up just putting the CDs on my, like my iPod on my phone, and and that's how I listen to them anyway. And that is the Nightmare on Elm Street Part Five soundtrack, which is playing in the background just now. It's actually quite good. I forgot how kind of gothic it was, but yeah, all I need now is really Part Four because I've got one and two on a double disc CD, three on a vinyl. But I would like to get the CD so I can put it digital onto my my iPod. And I've got five and six, so but I don't have four. So four new nightmare. That's the ones that I need. But yeah, that's um everything that I picked up this week. As I said, you're going to be seeing less pickup videos, so I might minimise them to unless like a big massive pile comes through from like Arrow or something that I've pre ordered. I might minimise them down to maybe like two week pickup videos or even a month, I'm not sure. The reason why I stuck to weekly is because I started forgetting what I bought because I put it on the shelves. Um but I'm gonna be good because I need I, I really need I really want not need I really want to um be able to see the nice things that I bought and like the arrow phantasm sphere that's coming I want that displayed somewhere nice and right now the way that my collection was going with movies that to be honest I mean there was some movies in the collection that I haven't watched since I was a teenager so I'm thinking why why have I got that sitting there and as much as I really enjoyed the film that I mean I've only got one life. There's, I, I can't watch all those movies in one life um, <clears throat> multiple times. I mean, there are movies from you can see from the previous video that I did that, you know, movies that I've watched hundreds of times, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to watch every single movie that I have that many times. So I thought I might as well give someone, let someone else enjoy them. And uh, actually, I feel a lot better for it. Because it was just, it was taking over, there was far, far too many films, so at least this way now I can get everything nicely displayed and really, really enjoy the lovely one, like the, the movies that I love that much. 
Um, but anyway, hopefully you don't think I've gone completely mad and you understand what I was trying to say there. Um, thank you for watching. As always, if you want to chat about the movies, please leave any comments below. I will get back to you. And uh, please like and subscribe. Take care.